what would you tell somebody who is not in a good place? How can how can they fix themselves? You know, because listen, it's hard times now. And no matter how hard it gets, um, I think positivity matters, but also action matters. But how could, what would you tell somebody who is who is not in a great place right now, whether it's financially, work wise, uh, love wise, just the whole nine yards? Well, I would tell them without pushing religion on anyone. First, I would ask them if they believe in a higher power than themselves. Most people do. Many people are not sure yeah, mm -hmm. because they're uh, maybe were dealt a raw deal in life, mm -hmm. okay? But I would also explain to them, and that's my life's work, not just being a medium, but teaching people who they truly are and where they really truly come from and what their greatest capabilities of. I would love to teach that person how to unlearn all of the things that they learned as a program. That's Yoda. That's Yoda yeah. from Star Wars. Yeah, well, yeah, it is. You have and to learn what you unlearned. That, that's so true. And the truth of the matter is, if we, and I, I always hear those words, we are in this world, but we are not of this world. Because we're not. We are ashes to ashes, dust to dust. At some point, none of us are getting out of here alive. So the truth is to make the best of our journey and to tr really tr teach that person how, how did they actually attract certain situations into their life and how can they actually change that? Uh, because so many people are not willing to take responsibility for their life and for the outcome of their life. Victim mentality, absolutely. You know, but there's so many different dimensions. So some people say to me, well, Kim, I did not cause my son's death. I mean, that to me is the most heart-wrenching when a parent has to lose a child. I mean, that is my worst subject because I am a mom. I have three sons. Um, but then I would also teach them about soul agreements and soul contracts. And I would also teach them that this is not all there is. And that we are very, here very, very, very temporarily. Right. Uh, I would teach them about everything the other side taught me about how to look at things and how to really look at the bigger picture as opposed to that little flashlight, Michael, like you said. Yeah. So when you're living with that little flashlight, there's not a lot of light that can come in to illuminate your, your soul. So we have to find things that can illuminate us, that take us out of ourselves. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to be of service to others. Mm -hmm. And I know that sounds a little bit like, wait, what? I have no, I don't even have energy to help myself. How can I help others? Well, I find helping others puts us on this high that we can't explain. Really? To be selfless to give even though we have nothing to give. And it doesn't have to be anything physical. It could be whatever you have to offer. Mm -hmm. And start like that. And then start to be grateful for what you don't have and what you do have. Because what you do have, many don't. And if you start little by little looking at these things and bringing the gratitude into it, bringing your whole, what you, what gifts you came here to share, the universe will bestow the same onto you because it does truly work like that. But it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen right away. I also would be very conscious of, and I, and I mean this when I say it, uh, of your diet. I would be so careful about why are you not in this high vibration? What is the part that's bringing your vibration down? I agree a hundred percent. It truly makes all the difference. Yep. 